All right, I'm gonna crack an egg. I'm gonna make some extra breakfast. I'm gonna use my new hex clad pan. Ooh, ooh, it looks good. Look at it go. Man, this thing is so non-stick, it's insane. Look how non-stick this thing is. It's so, oh sh it's too non-stick. What is up guys? It's Chris with Ever to Chris and welcome to the channel. So as you know, I do Tesla videos as well as tech videos. And from time to time, if I think it's good enough, I'll do videos and reviews for items for your home that in the end, make your everyday life easier. Because that's the goal, right? Ain't nobody got time these days. So today I'm gonna to be doing an in-depth review of owning the Hexclad Pan for over three years and why I ended up buying the entire set from Costco. Now I'm no Gordon Ramsay by any means. Most of my meals are pretty simple. I don't even cut the correct way. So in a way, I'm the definition of an average Joe who cooks. Now, we all want to know the Hexclad Pan's non-stick stickiness, durability, and reliability. And we'll get there. But first, we got to clear the air on this new term called forever chemicals. When I was growing up in college, I'll never forget, I had one non-stick pan for everything. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond, rip to that store. It worked well in the beginning and was legit non-stick, no oil needed. But the issue was that if I used a metal utensil or a knife to cut something, and just over time with use, I ended up cutting the Teflon. And being a college boy, I didn't care. And then I learned once you scratch the nonstick pan, it's essentially leaching off chemicals like PFAs that isn't good for your health when you're cooking. These chemicals can even cause kidney and even testicular cancer Bruh. and other health issues. Sheesh! I like my balls, thank you very much. So I ended up throwing it away and I got a nice stainless steel pan because at the time I heard that was the one to get. But me not knowing anything about stainless steel pans, it was the worst purchase ever. Everything stuck to the pan, I hated it. I ended up throwing that away as well. And yeah, now I know about optimal temperatures for the stainless steel pan and all that stuff. But come on, man, I ain't got the time. Now I know these days, nonstick doesn't contain PFAs, which is in Teflon, so that's a good thing. However, based on this Consumer Reports study, even though they claim it's PFA free, there were still traces of the chemicals in a lot of the pans. Also, if you didn't know, PFAs are found in almost everything you touch these days, including faucet water you get from the tap. So yes, if you're drinking water from the faucet, you are ingesting a good amount of PFAs. Here's a list of things PFAs are found in. We can go into a whole debate on PTFE, PFOAs, and Gen X chemicals, but I'll tell you right now, Hexclad, in order to have that non-stick stickiness, does have <gasps> PTFEs in the non-stick coating. Now, when you compare it to the PFAs, it has a higher melting point, so it won't break down as easily under high temperatures. Now, based on Google Scholar, I didn't find any studies that linked PTFE to health concerns like cancer. So keep that in mind. Oh, as a side note, I found out if you have a pet bird, do not get a pan with PTFE in them because if you heat up the pan too high and it releases the fumes, it apparently kills the bird instantly if they breathe it in. I wanted to cook with a pan that I didn't have to worry about scratching and didn't leach off potentially unwanted chemicals that's gonna kill my junk. And that's like an all-in-one pan that I can get some sexy sears in as well. Then three years ago, one of our closest friends gifted us a pan. A pan. Pan is a gift. Some friends they are, huh? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. 
But then I found out it was actually a hex cloud pan that's apparently a one-stop shop for all your cooking as it cooks like a non-stick aluminum pan, but gives you the sear and sexiness of a cast iron. It has these little hexagon shapes that are actually composed of stainless steel. And under that stainless steel, it has that non-stick coating. So essentially the stainless steel is protecting the non-stick coating while still allowing you to use that non-stick when you're cooking. First off, let's talk about how heavy it is. Now this is the 10 inch pan, it's not that heavy when you compare it to the cast iron. The cast iron is heavy, heavy. Like I'm gonna get carpal tunnel with this bad boy. But this one feels pretty good. Now at the bottom of the hex cloud pan, you have this base which is made of stainless steel. It's super hefty. I mean, you can use this as a weapon. But it allows you to use it on any type of surface like gas or induction. And you can cook it in the oven up to 500 degrees. So essentially it's the perfect pan, right? Now I don't understand why you have to season a non-stick. If you saute scallops in a non-stick pan, they won't stick. That's why it's called non-stick. So to season the pan, and this is super important to do because they want you to do it, and it apparently keeps the stickiness of the nonstick. After you get it out of the box, you wanna wash it with soap and water. Then after you wanna dry it, so we got the pan here. We're gonna go ahead and put the pan on medium to low heat and add about one to two tablespoons of oil. You can use any oil, it doesn't matter. And you could use a paper towel. For me, I'm just using this basting brush to make sure I get the entire area. Then you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna let it heat up for about two to three minutes. And after that, you should be ready to go. It is seasoned and done. You're gonna let it cool, then you're gonna wash it again with warm soapy water, and then now it should be seasoned and ready to go. So now, this should be seasoned and ready to go. This is my three-year-old hex clad pan. Now they really make it look sexy on their videos with the egg not sticking, but how well does it actually work? After three years of owning the hex clap pan, does the non-stickiness even last? Let's try it out. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna test out the non-stickiness. We got the brand new hex clap pan all seasoned, ready to go. We're also gonna try it with the standard. This is also a, a new non-stick, so. We'll see how well it works as well. And then I'm also gonna try it with my three-year-old hex clad pan. As you can see already, there's a color difference. This one is more of a gray tone. This is like brown. So we'll see if it still works. So all these are seasoned. I'm gonna do two at a time. So now for this test, we're always gonna do medium to low heat. I'm gonna add a touch of oil. I'm just gonna spread the oil around just like how I seasoned it. Now I know everyone's saying if it's gonna be non-stick, you shouldn't need to add any oil, but let's be real, you always wanna add some sort of oil no matter what. So we're gonna wait for this pan to heat up. You can tell it's heat up because the oil will glide really easily. We're gonna use a metal utensil to flip the egg and see how easy it is to flip. Okay, so this is done. This one still needs a little more time. So already as far as preheating, because you got the stainless steel, it heats up much faster. Let's go ahead, we're gonna crack the egg. And then we're gonna do it on this side. This cooks so fast. And you can already kind of see with the non-stick, it's already like just moving on its own. And we have the hex cloud over here. It's definitely a little more stuck on. But you can kind of see that it's just moving along, gliding along here. Just because you have these stainless steel ridges here, I'm still able to get a really nice smoothie glide in there. And then same thing. Like look at that thing, look at the non-stick. It's just so non-sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. That's flipped. And that is a beautiful egg. Look at that, look at that, that searness compared 
to here because it's non-stick. Sure, it doesn't stick, but you don't get that crispiness that you do with the hex clad. Brand new hex clad does a great job of not sticking as long as you season it correctly. So I don't know if you can see that, but already because I used a metal spatula, you can see some of the scratches in the non-stick coating already, like right there, you see that? There's already some scratches in the non-stick yeah. and I used it for like five seconds. Compared to the hex clad, there is no scratches in here. And that's the beauty of it. Like, look, just do the same thing. Right there, nothing. Now the moment of truth, we're gonna try it with my three-year-old hex clad pan. We're gonna do the same thing, add some oil to it. You can use your hand to see if it's warm enough. Still needs some more time. Okay, so now we have the three-year-old pan. Now already because it's older, you can already see it does not stick as well. But not bad. The pan is still semi non-stick. So let's see how easy it is. Does it move along? It does not move along. Looks like it is sticking a touch. But not bad overall. I mean, for a pan that's three years old, you would think that the non-stick would be completely gone, especially the way I treat this pan. But, looks good. So as you can see with the older three-year-old hex clad pan, number one, it was a little bit bigger, but because it is older, it doesn't have that super non-stickiness like the brand new one did. However, it's really good. Now, if you are having any issues with your hex clad, I do recommend kind of doing a hard reset on the pan. So what you wanna do is you wanna deep clean the pan with Barkeeper's Friend and steel wool and then re-season the pan as you would a new pan. And like you saw, even though the hex clap pan is older, it still had the non-stick capabilities. And that leads me to my next reason of why I love these pans, durability. Now with my non-stick pan, I can't use the hard side of a sponge to get out any grime as it scratches the coating. I can't use steel wool, nothing. However, with the new hex clad pan, if you ever have any stubborn stains like burn marks, just add some Barkeeper's Friend to it, get your steel wool, and you can just go ahead and clean this bad boy right up. They even recommend doing it on their website. I've probably done the steel wool method about 10 or so times since I got my hex clad pan three years ago. It still looks and works great. And what's cool is I can even cut my meats on the hex clad pan directly with a knife. With my non-stick pan, it for sure leaves scratches and ruins the Teflon non-stick coating. So as far as durability, Hexclad Pan wins with their lifetime warranty. I never need to worry about damaging the Hexclad Pan or the coating or anything. And this pan is three years old with daily use. I wanted to see how well the pans heat up on the gas burner. And I wanted to see if there were any hot spots with the hex clap pan versus my old Z Willing pan versus the nonstick pan. Because one thing we all want is even heat cooking when we're cooking. Okay, so we got our pans here. We're gonna test the heat retention. We have my three year old hex clap pan on the far right. We have the nonstick in the center. We have the old, super old pan Z willing all damaged on the left. And I'm gonna try just the new one. So I will put the new hex clad pan right here as well. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn on the pans on low. 298 in the center. Let's check on the outsides of the pan. On the outsides of the pans, actually touch warmer at 316, 322. So the outsides of the pan are most definitely warmer compared to the center of the pan. Let's check this one. Same size, same heat. In the center, we're getting 308, so warmer. On the outsides, we're getting 326, 319. A lot more even heat on the new hex clad pan versus the older one. Maybe it's because it's bigger. Definitely a lot more random on this one, but overall, it's about the same. Now, all these benefits come with a cost. For a standard 12 inch, the hex clad comes in at $220 with the lid. Compare that to the Z-Willing pan that I have, the 12-inch pan 
costs $109 and a standard nonstick pan which only cost $28. Now for me, I got the seven piece set from Costco and that costed us $350. However, Amazon sells it and I think they even do Prime Day deals every year. So be on the lookout for that. Now I've had my 10 inch hex clap pan for over three years and I loved it so much. I got the entire full set. I will say I've never thrown it in the dishwasher, although you are able to unlike nonstick pan. I try to keep a super clean kitchen with my stove guard to clean up any spills easily and my washable rug. So I'm glad I can restore my used hex clad pans to look like new. With the durability of being able to clean the pan with steel wool to essentially bring the pan back to life. And if there are any issues with their lifetime warranty, this prevents me from needing to buy new pans every few years, also saving money in the long run. I also don't have to worry when cooking and can use metal utensils, knives, anything. And it has amazing cooking power with cast iron, stainless steel and nonstick capabilities all in one. I'm super happy with my purchase. I'm not sponsored at all. I got these pans myself and I feel like my hex clap pans definitely makes my life easier. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.